All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and again, I have another special guest, all the way from the Grand Cayman, Victoria Lissac. Hello. She is, she's not Australian, by the way, so if you think she's Australian, she's actually from London, England. So, Victoria, she goes by Fit Girl Gone Green on Instagram, and she is awesome. She's uh, been working with me for a long time now. Now, she's here today because we're going to do a shoulder workout. She has phenomenal shoulders, but she's in figure. So what we're trying to do is build them up even more. So if you're looking for a shoulder workout, give you that nice round shoulder look, that's what we're gonna do today. So stay tuned. Your range of motion is right here. Right now we got a little extra range of motion. So just tilt down a little bit. So you get a little extra range of motion from here to here. Okay, and you're tilted down a little bit and just bring it straight out to the side. Simple as that, okay? So watch how her elbow has a slight bend. She's coming straight out like that. We're gonna keep tension right here, okay? That's perfect. Now just reach a little and give me a stretch. So now we're just stretching that a little bit. There. All right, so we're starting off with a cable side lateral. Notice how she's reaching across her body. It's just a little extra range of motion for her delts. We're hitting this area right here, right now. We're doing sets of 15. Right here, good. Notice she has just a little bit of a slight bend in her elbow, just a tad bit and she's pull, pulling the weight up with her shoulder. She's not using her arms. It's amazing that extra couple inches in front of range of motion actually makes a really big difference. Right here. Good. Good. She's coming up parallel. You don't need to go above parallel or you can get a little bit too much trap, trap engagement. So we're keeping all the tension on her delt. See how nothing's moving but my arm? I want you a little bit more out to the side though. There, right there, right there, right there. That's it, right there. Three, all the way to 15. Four, five, six. Notice she's only coming up to my hand. All right, now what just happened was her hands just shifted forward a little bit. Her front delt's trying to take over because the side delt's a little weaker. So I'm gonna ask her to fight to keep the angle to the side. Stay to the side. Now I see how her body's shaking. Her delt's, that, that part of her shoulder's not used to working this hard. See that? So what happened was her front delt, this got fatigued because it doesn't get isolated real well. So this took over. So you can literally see her arms start to come forward so that would work harder. So that means we're just gonna lighten up a tad and work that side. That's good though. See, we're finding areas that are a little weaker. Yep. That's the whole goal. So what we're doing now is she's giving me a pause at the top and she's actually flexing her shoulder when she's paused. Bam. Another great way to just nail your shoulder. Pause and flex. Tremendous amount of tension this way. Five, six. Very difficult this way, but it works. There we go, seven more. Right. Come on. Good, come on, five more. Flex, come on. Flex, there we go. Three, two more, come on. Good, one more. All right, yes, good job. Now they should so be able We did four sets there, four sets of 15. And on the last set, remember, she did the pauses. So give those a shot. That should get the blood moving. You should feel some burning. And now we're gonna have some more fun. So what, what I want you to do on this is reach forward. Now, yeah, now all the pivoting is with your rear delt, okay? Mm -hmm. Relax all this, okay? Now just pull the weight around. Good. Keep your chest arched. There, like that. Now flex. When you get to the end, flex. All the tension should be right here. Yep. yep. 
One of the big keys here is reaching forward and pivoting with your shoulder instead of pulling with your traps and round boys. A lot of people do that. Very good. Let's go 15 for your first set. Good. Good. Excellent. All right, good. I want you to think when you're doing your rear delts, because this is an area that you're gonna be working really hard to improve. I want you to think about everything is just pivoting with your rear delt. It's not pulling, it's just pivoting and flexing, okay? And reach forward, okay? Because a lot of people, you, you don't wanna get into this, okay? This is what you want. A little tiny bit of a bend. All right, let's go 20. Now, when you get tired and fatigued and you can't get full reps, instead of cheating and doing ugly reps, I just want you to do partials, okay? So if you get tired and you can't pull the weight back to your rear delt, only come back halfway. I'd rather you do a partial than a sloppy rep. So we're going all the way to 20. So even if you're doing a dumbbell variation, same thing applies. Let your arms hang and pivot with your shoulder. Instead of turning into a row, you don't want to row. You want to use your rear delt. So let the weight hang. Pivot with your rear delt. 18. Partials, 19. 20, now slow it down. 21, 22, 23, 24, one more, and 25. Good job. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, 22, come on, three, four, come on. If you have, now partials, partials, reach forward, reach forward. Now give me little partials, that's it, that's it. That's how you keep the set going. 28, 29, 30, okay, take a break. Now 15 more. Good, right there, good. Two, three, come on, four, five, come on. Six, come on. Seven, almost there. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, five more. One, two, three, four. Okay, now hold it right there. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it right there. Don't let it come down. Push back against me. Five. No, come on, hold it. Come on, hold it. Give me the best. Give me your give me some effort. Come on. Three, two, one. All right. So what we did was she did a set of 15, 20, 25, and 30. And then the last set with 30, actually we threw a drop set and an iso hold in there. So we moved on to the arsenal bench row, but we're not training our back, we're training her rear delt. She's taking a really wide grip here. And what she's doing is she's pulling up with your rear delts. We're actually relaxing this. All the pull is coming from right here. See, Watch your elbow position. See how she has high elbows? That's making sure that this works really hard right here. And she's squeezing really hard with the rear delt. We're doing sets of 15 here. Eight, nine, nice and slow, nice and slow. Put all the tension in there. Put all the tension in there. 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. Good, all the way back. All the way back. So where do I go? There you go, right there. A little slower, a little slower. So what we're doing now, these are called over and backs. They're great for shoulder health, shoulder flexibility. A lot of people I have had do these, they've increased their shoulder flexibility. It also just burns. It doesn't look bad, but it actually burns. So we're just doing 10, 10 of these in between each set of, of the uh, rear delt rows right here. Okay, one more. Good. All right, now hit All that. Right, so we're on our third set. She hasn't been resting. Her rest has been the over and backs. So now we're getting a, we're moving at a fast pace, driving a ton of blood in her shoulders. Tension, there we go. Six, seven, there we go, come on. Eight, come on. Look at all the pressure on the rear delt. She's keeping tension really, really well. Good control, 12, 
13, two more. 14, one more. All right, good. Now you can see him getting tired too. Yeah, so real quick, we did four good. sets here. Victoria did 15 reps on these, and then she did 10 reps on the over and back, and she also went back to back. So you can't go real heavy here, or your, your traps and rhomboids will take over. So moderate weight here, not real heavy, and work those yeah. over and backs really hard. So we're gonna finish with a heavy press. Perfect form. Slow down just a little. Right there, right there. We're doing heavy sets of eight. Good. Good. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, good. So we're finishing with a heavy press. We've done a lot of lateral variations to get a lot of blood in there and pump up your shoulders, which is great. But we're actually doing the heavy press last. And the reason why is because I, want, I really wanted to pre-exhaust her shoulders. So it wasn't so much tricep and other muscles taking over. But the goal here is to go heavy with strict form for sets of eight. So we have found a weight that's a tough eight and we're gonna do four sets of eight with it. All right. And slow on the way down, there. Perfect, right there. Excellent. Three, four, come on, four more. Five, come on, come on, come on, come on. Six, two more, come on, work, work, work. One more. There we go. Good. We'll add a lead. So this is our fourth set. And we made the weight even heavier. And I know I said we were doing sets of eight, but I want to throw in something a little different on the fourth set. This is, this is kind of a variation of what my buddy Scott does. So we're going to do four, three or four. She's going to rest 10 seconds and do three or four, and then rest 10 seconds and do three or four. So it's just giving her extra volume with the heavy weight. And the name of the game for Victoria is she wants to build really good shoulders. So it's going to allow her to do 10, 11, 12 reps with the weight that normally she would do three or four and stop with. So it's just a way to use more volume and still get the heavy weight in to build her shoulders. So I'm going to be actually spotting you from behind. All right. Some good way here. Get it moving now. Come on. Two. Come on. Three. One more. Okay, rest. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now give me another four. One, two, come on. Three, one more. And four. Okay, rest. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go. One, two. Come on, two more. Come on. One more time. Come on, come on, there we go. So that's Good a wrap job. for shoulders. Look at these things. They're <laughs> awesome, they're jacked. So now I heard you just started a YouTube channel. I did, yeah. So if you want to subscribe, you can find me at Fit Girl Gone Green on YouTube and also on Instagram. <laughs> so make sure you sign up, follow her. She's gonna be loading up the videos as well. Thanks for watching. Try the workout, comment below and let us know what you think.